Here we're working on a Ford Model A, about a 1929. Uh, we're not exactly sure if this is the original engine out of the vehicle. What we're going to be doing is uh, checking the valves. The firing order is uh, kind of uncommon on these. It's uh, one, two, four, three. So with the engine and together, there's a small detent on here. You would take a pin out and put it uh, backwards through the front cover. It would come up feeling for compression at the spark plug hole number one, the front cylinder. So here we're on the, uh, at number one cylinder is on the exhaust stroke here right now. Valve is closing, piston is coming up. Now the intake valve is going to open. So it's drawing in a charge of air and fuel. Valve is closing, piston's coming up on compression. So it's getting near the top now. This is where you would take that pin that sits in the cover, uh, reverse it, and uh, feel for the uh, for the detent to be. Then you know that you're at top dead center, number one, at that point there. Now these lifters are not adjustable. The only way to change that is to grind the uh, what they call tip the valves, grind the end off the valves. I've checked these already. Firing order one, two, four, three. And I was happy with the setting without taking the engine apart and grinding anything or whatever. Uh, I, I was happy with that. So on the, on the next cylinder, in the firing order is this one here, number two. So we'll check the valves on that one. Again, I've got it set at 15 here and the clearance is a little bit large, but Without um, major work, there's a, it's very difficult to adjust that. You can buy lifters for these. If you have it entirely apart, you can buy adjustable lifters for these, which I would recommend doing. This, uh, this engine had 70 PSI compression right across, and it ran pretty good, even though there's a lot of uh, uh, slop. So now it's coming up on compression on number four. Check that one. And then the next one in the rotation is number three. So I don't know if you can see them, there's a little holes here. These were holes were blocked uh, when I took the head off and cleaned everything up. There was uh, calcium or whatever in these water galleries that feed the head. So this thing can't have been cooling properly uh, in its last number of years of operation. So that's been, uh, I cleaned those out with a drill and then blew all the debris out. The valves themselves have got a bit of wear on the stems. There's uh, more than normal, but since the compression is good and the engine runs fine, we're just going to leave all that stuff alone, put it a fresh gasket in. I've cleaned the uh, cooling jacket holes on there. The, I had all the studs out to redo them, make sure the threads are all good. And uh, the same here, every, every bolt hole is tapped, every, every thread is uh, cleaned so that you can get a proper good torque on there without uh, not binding to the bolt or the or nut binding on the stud. Anyway, that's about her. We're gonna, I've had this thing running, got it out for cleaning and painting, mostly. A new gasket set on the pan. The, uh, this little critter here, this little pipe, it belongs on the, on the rear main bearing and it fits down there and it drains the uh, cavity around the rear main bearing. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe somebody out there can let me know. There's a check ball in this groove, and uh, uh, anyway, if someone could explain to, this was laying in the pan, it's worked out, I've got to put it back in, but I just, just whatever the reason is for the check ball and uh, why that has to go down below the fluid level, if someone knows, they can let me know. In this case here, we're putting on a two-piece front pulley, the other pulley was damaged, and uh, so this one... I'm not sure if you can see it down there. There's a, a stub shaft that goes on onto the crankshaft. Then this will fit on, and supposedly you can take this pulley out without pulling the radiator, uh, should the need arise. We're going to change this one to an alternator and 12 volt. It's going to be a special purpose uh, engine. It won't remain 6 volt. Anyway, have a good day. Thanks for watching.